is thanks to you both. Good evening and welcome to the program. First to the international celebrity cult that falsely claims it's a South Australian charity in order to avoid millions of dollars in tax. Incredibly, the Church of Scientology has managed to fool government authorities, saying its entire operation in the UK is based right here. But in a pathetic back down, the SA Office of Consumer and Business Affairs has given up chasing them because they don't have the resources or the willpower to take them on. Here's Brian Seymour. Look, this is just not good enough. This involves literally hundreds of millions of dollars. I find this news really upsetting. Welcome to the home of Scientology, Britain and Europe. Adelaide? The Church of Scientology funnels millions of pounds through its centres in England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales, yet Despite being rejected as a charity or a religion there, Scientology pays no tax in Britain. Why? Believe it or not, the church tells UK authorities it doesn't have to pay corporations tax in the UK because it is registered as a charity 16,000 kilometres away in my home state of South Australia. From its non-existent offices in Adelaide, South Australia, this tiny incorporated association boasts as its members not people, but churches of Scientology. And not just in the United Kingdom. There's also Denmark, Belgium, France, Germany, Holland and Sweden. Why stop there? They have a member in South Africa too. We checked further and found a truly global multinational corporation boasting more members in Canada, including Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto and British Columbia. In the UK, the Charities Commission has refused Scientology's charitable status because its main activities, providing so-called auditing sessions um, using an e-meter, a crude form of lie detector, were private in nature and in the benefit they provided. Independent Federal Senator Nick Xenophon was today speaking at the National Association's Forum in Brisbane. In his keynote address, he outlined how authorities in South Australia have allowed Scientology to do whatever they like. The South Australian Office of Consumer and Business Affairs, the supposed watchdog, should be monitoring Cosrecchi's financial returns to monitor where the tens of millions of dollars that flow through the organisation go. And in the last 30 years, uh, literally hundreds of millions of pounds have gone to that organisation. We even tracked down the owners of the house listed on the article of incorporation as their address. Oh, we were surprised. I was surprised and um, I had no idea of it until today. The owners are a family who run a market gardening business. They have owned the property since long before Scientology declared it as their address. My parents have owned it for a number of years and uh, I'm unaware of that. My parents are Greek Orthodox and uh, we have no um, idea that uh, it was in the use in this way. We first raised the alarm on this astonishing story 13 months ago. The Office of Consumer and Business Affairs has since spent a year, it says, investigating this massive apparent tax dodge. The result? Nothing. That whole time they've spent delaying, avoiding and ignoring us. The most frustrating thing is, that's exactly why Scientology chose South Australia. Some time ago I was made aware of a former insider who may have information. Eventually I made contact and they spoke to me on the condition they remain anonymous. Why did they choose South Australia? This informant told me Scientology targeted South Australia. When they set up this association, they trawled through the laws in each state to determine which one had the most liberal laws, requiring the least compliance. They also answered a more important question. What does this group produce? Do they employ any staff? It's a, it is a corporation. Uh, what's their business? They told me that the Church of Scientology Religious Education College Incorporated was set up as an umbrella corporation for the church in the UK and Europe. Scientology chose wisely. We've learned that since 2003, the Office of Consumer and Business Affairs have investigated not 100, not 50, not 10, not even five, but just three associations, and they've cleared them all. The one thing South Australian authorities did do was to make Scientology finally file audited accounts, though only for the years 2008 and 2009. Here they are, all too brief. They failed to provide any detail about massive payments. It has no ABN, 
has never traded in South Australia, is not entitled to any tax concessions here. The officers of this South Australian group all live in Britain. They provide no services in South Australia and their claim to be a charity has been proven false. The end result is that this cult has been able to flourish overseas because South Australian authorities haven't done their job. Still, the Office of Consumer and Business Affairs has decided to drop the whole thing. My response to that is quite simply rubbish. Who do they think they're kidding? Presumably they're kidding themselves. They did file a return for 30 years, and when they did file returns in the last three years, they contained holes big enough for Tom Cruise's ego to fit through. Today, at long last, we brought the whole sorry mess to the attention of the Attorney General, Deputy Premier John Rao. Well, if what he's saying is correct, there's obviously, first of all, at least some deception going on, and that may be costing the Australian taxpayers or British taxpayers, or perhaps even both, money. And that's obviously a matter for concern. South Australian bureaucrats are one reason that this organisation has been able to continue to victimise so many of its followers. And ultimately, the Minister, the State Minister for Consumer Affairs, Gail Dago, is responsible, and I'm hoping to meet with her very soon to discuss this further. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is try and get a report on exactly what Okbar has been doing. And then I think it would be appropriate after that to examine the particular allegations that uh, Nick Xenophon is making. We've tried to meet with Gail Gago. His staff have avoided us, perhaps thinking that we'd just give up. I've dealt with Minister Gago. She's an honourable person. Uh, she has, within her power, to sort out this mess. Uh, she's not to blame for this. This has been going on for 30 years under successive uh, Liberal and Labor governments. Scientology has been counting on it. Will they now be held to account? I think that's a very good question. I think Nick's raised an important issue. And uh, on the face of what he's had to say, it's very disturbing.